Welcome back. It's still the breakfast uh, ballot 2023 special right here on Plus TV Africa. We are glad to be joined by a guest um, who is a public affairs analyst to look at uh, the electoral process on f Saturday and Sunday uh, with emphasis on electoral violence. I'm glad to have Honorable Dr. Oshino Ibrahim. Um, Dr. Ibrahim, it's been some time and nice to have you back on the breakfast. Thank, thank you. It's nice to see you too. Uh, I miss you guys. Yes, yes. Um, 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 in, in a nutshell, let's start from here. In a nutshell, what is your assessment of the 2023 election so far? Uh, generally, um, um, good morning Nigerians, good morning viewers. Uh, I believe um, INEC has underperformed based on the guidelines, based on their promises and, you know, the high level of, you know, um, exorbitant um, promises they've made to Nigerians that the result will be viewing live immediately, you know, you, you vote, uh, after voting, uh, the result will be uploaded. And I can tell you that most of the polling units where results are, elections are concluded and results are yet to be uploaded 48 hours after the elections. So most of Nigerians are highly disappointed in Haine and uh, we expect them, uh, I listen, we expect them to do the needful as soon as possible. Uh, I listen to my dear brother and friend, Barrister Festus Okoye, uh, for the first time, I uh, could see the man struggling uh, to address Nigeria. He's unable to, you know, go deep and explain himself in the usual manner. The reason why results are not yet uploaded uh, from our hand, we have few statistics, but by law, I need deserve and I reserve the right to upload the results real time for Nigeria to view uh, the results of the election. So apparently, I would say I'm, I'm disappointed in what is going on right now. Yeah. But I need to do the needful as soon as possible. This is a very keenly contested election. Uh, most of the results from the north are yet to be known, called north, northeast, northwest, uh, possibly except Kumbi and probably a few states from north central. So we are watching, we are watching, we don't know what is going on with INEC, but we urge them to do the needful before 12 o'clock with such resumption. Uh, I will be in Abuja latest uh, by before that time, so we are watching, we are clearly watching what's going on. So uh, we are disappointed, I am disappointed personally as a Nigerian. Okay. Yeah, that's what I can say for now. Um, I mean, we've seen, you know, uh, results from Ekiti State coming first to be uh, returned, you know, by the returning officer. Uh, from Ekiti State, uh, right there to the National Coalition Center uh, in Abuja. Um, but other states, like you say, are still trying to put their, their acts together. Uh, one of the, the major reports um, we're hearing is voter suppression, uh, uh, voter disenfranchisement uh, through the use of elect uh, political thugs. Um, we have, for instance, Lagos State and River State as cases in point. Um, what are your thoughts on, on this? Because the, the opposition Labour Party has called for the cancellation of the, of the presidential election. One of the things, excuse me, they're citing is uh, the use of thugs um, to, to rig the election. And um, they're saying that most of the results that are coming out are not the true, reflecting the true will of the people. So what do you say to this? Um, I wonder who's complaining about it. Is it Mr. Peter or me or who's complaining about it? The vo voters, you know, voters out there, uh, you know, voters out there. Unfortunately, you know, uh, the samples that we are trying to, you know, uh, um, you know, so it does not um, um, reflect on the present results in Labour State, for instance. Uh, if there are no fair and fair, and fair election, how on, he on heads will Peter or me who started campaign six months? Will come and pull, come and win Shadow Local Government. Will win the National Dues in, in the Kedja, the federal, the state, the, 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 the capital of the state. So if there are no fears, so who is using talk? I don't know about talk. I voted in Lagos and I know what is going on. So I've, I don't understand who is complaining about who and who. Most of the elections in Lagos state have been, you know, results have been released. Where will be that is coming? I don't know if it is a or if it is, if this is the one complaining that that's unfair 
that's, that's, that's vicious if a dude is complaining and is winning. So who is using talk? In Europa, most of the PC members were being, you know, ambushed. They didn't allow them to vote. So these are the reports we've gathered. So who is complaining about who? So I need to know who is complaining. Who are the voters that is complaining? I don't member of PDP or I don't member of APC or I don't member of Labour Party. So who is complaining? You can see the result that is coming out from Labour State. It shows that even if the, the ruling party in Labour State, they have, it's, it's fair. You know? So who is complaining about um, voter suppression where you are living in the state capital in the Tosa in Shomolu? Can you imagine that? Okay, so so you're so I don't know. You can saying, tell who's complaining. So basically, you're saying that you know uh, you are a resident of Lagos State. You're a voter in Lagos State. Then you went out to cast your vote, you know, peacefully, and there were still incidents of um, thuggery and violence. And um, I, I I I do notice that not those things that you are seeing online, but you know, you know, these days I know you're a professional journalist. I've known you for a while, so I know you don't take all those uh, social media reports, you know. Uh, so serious, except if your channel can bring down the footage of where you see, and you have to identify who are the people. You know, this is a national election. A lot of a few fracas will come up, but where I voted, peaceful at large, and uh, nothing like of, of such happened. Oh. Oh. All right, uh, there's something called user-generated content. You know, um, even in, in the media, we take what we call eye uh, witness reports uh, from time to time. It's one of the ways of getting information and news, you know. So even in print media, they would always leave their phone number uh, for anyone who wants to, has anything worthy of note to, to give to them. Uh, CNN, BBC, they use user-generated content from social media. Um, of course, uh, I've, I've, I've been asked to give my content. So we have, we have these social media reports. We rely on them. You know, we can't be everywhere. Um, there's something called citizen... Uh, journalism. Um, so, Honorable Dr. Shinawa Ibrahim, let's, let's just take a, a look at some of these reports, and then I'll come back to you uh, so you can talk some more about them. Because these are serious reports, I mean, um, and we've seen them in, in full color. So, um, uh, if our uh, uh, PCR is ready, we can just roll that, and I'll come back to our guests. All right, um, do we have the video clips ready? Oh, okay, so can we just uh, you know, roll, the, roll the tape and then uh, it, it have some perspective to what we're talking about? Well, uh, while, while we're getting set to roll... <laughs> Don't cry, madam. Don't cry. Even with blood dripping on your face, dripping from your face, you're still voting. 
Yeah. We all right. Yeah. Took her to where she got through the national and they took her to where she was still born. I never see her. She gave her back. She cannot be disenfranchised. She will vote. Blood and sweat. She will vote. On top of her. She will still vote. Um, well, th that, that last one in particular is the one that uh, really got um, the attention a lot of people. I'm a Dr. Shinoho, the woman who had a, a, a sort of stab on above her eye, right eye, and got some treatment and still uh, was able to come back to vote. Um, it, it's just uh, one of the many incidents uh, and reports of violence against voters in, in Lagos State. Um, what, what do you say to, to this, this situation? I mean, you didn't see it in your polling unit, but there are widespread reports that thugs, you know, chased away voters, burned ballot papers. These are verified reports I'm talking about. Um, stole, you know, ballot papers, threw them on the roof of some of the buildings where the, the, the voting was taking place, tore them, cutted them away, and all that. I mean, we can't deny that this happened. Doctor. Well, the, 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 you know, the visual will show the first one was probably from the north. Then how do we identify who are the aggressors, who are the people Dr. commenting Shiro, the trouble? Are you, I, I, I'm, I'm, saying that, I'm saying that the reports, the verifiable reports, or the verified reports of uh, attacks on voters by thugs hired and sent by politicians, mm -hmm. they are verified they are documented. These are just ex excerpts. We have do a lot you, of them. I can, I can, I can, I can. polling booths have been, you know, most of the APC polling agents have been attacked. Do you, are you aware of that? We're talking about and all of, of, the we are talking about all of them. Dr. Shinoa, we are talking about all the violence, whether on APC or PDP, we don't care. So there, there is generally a complaint from PDP, there is a complaint from Labour, there is a complaint. Are, so what I expect so, but, us to address yeah. is that what, what the, the level of security deployment is over 400,000. Where are the security men and women? Where are the officers? Where are the militaries? Where are the DSS? Where are the SCDC? Where are they? Where are all these guys? So they have to be on ground. You, you go to some polling booths, polling booths, you find out that there is no security personnel. You find out there is nobody mounting the, the polling booths. So it's a security failure. So the security architecture, the inspector general of police should know, should have his measure, measure, measure mechanisms. He has failed for not protecting the voters. It's his job. You can check the level of you know, mobilization and funds are called to these agencies for them to provide sufficient. Even the National Security Advisor co confirmed and assured Nigerians that this, the elections will go scot free and will, will go in free. At the end of the day, you can imagine the, the young, the, the woman, the woman there, you know, but we have to give it to such filters who have been battered and she will still have the, you know, F-100 audacity to Come, still come out and vote. That's what they call patriotism. So the bulk of the blame is on the DSS, the general police, who is the chief, you know, coordinator of this exercise. So who are the policemen? How can just one policeman handle such crowd? In some polling booths, you have 400 voters, 500, 600, 600 voters. So I is one police officer? We expect military to be, you know, to be around most of the polling booths. So these are major issues that police needs to come. We want the job to come out and address all these things. So we're not going to blame anybody for this except the police. You know, few issues can happen between you know the agents, the polling booths, even the voters who love one party to others. Issues always happen. You know, look at most elections since 1993. You see that issues happen at the polling booth. Okay, so, do so, do so Doctor Shinoe, you're just saying and, you know. Yeah, so are you now agreeing that there was there were the widespread violence, you know, attacks of on voters, uh, thuggery uh, in Lagos State during the election? And but you are saying yes, indeed there was, but it was um, uh, on not just uh, Liberal Party or PDP um, members, or it was on APC officials as well. Though what we're seeing is that 
we are we're seeing that voters, irrespective of who they're voting for, because they don't have their party insignia on, the, on them when they're voting, that the, the, the thugs are going for the ballot papers and the BVS, uh, B, uh, B vast device, you know. So, but you're saying that the police is squarely to be blamed, and you're calling out the IGP. Uh, we have I'm a, calling out the IGP. We have another. Yes, it, yeah, but it's not doing a wonderful saying, job. You started by saying you know, there was no violence in Lagos, so you're not aware that there was violence in Lagos. State. You, you, you know, when you are saying Lagos, 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 Lagos has over 300... Yeah. Is it over almost about 350,000 uh, polling booths yeah. or something? Yeah. Over 300. We have so many polling booths in Lagos State. You can't use a section of a ward, a polling booth, to justify over 5,000 voters who are voting simultaneously at the same time. So are you, are you still insisting... On what scale are you going to measure that? If you are saying there is a fight in, or there is a fracture in one polling booth, and you are using that to justify almost about 200,000 polling booths. Hmm. Do you understand? So on what scale, on what premise are you going to pull that? So you need to determine what, on what grade, on what level, on what capacity am I saying there is a widespread. Widespread is huge. It's huge. Can you say widespread? Widespread is not the right word to use in Lagos State. Lagos State has largely peaceful. If there is widespread, I can tell you, OB will not pull such votes. Neck to neck, in legal state, neck to neck. Hmm. Okay. Neck okay. to neck. Yeah. OB is winning in 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 um, in, in Shumanu. OB is winning in the Kedja with but, almost but, 36 but the votes. That, that is if so how can you say there is a widespread when voters, such humongous figures are coming out? So we can't say widespread, but well, of widespread course, because it's we must realize on the IDP to do its job. Okay, so you, 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 you're, you're, say, you're saying that that we didn't have many incidences of um, voter suppression and elect electoral thuggery because OB is winning. That is the proof. But and it, it's yeah. neck and neck yeah. in Tinubu's yeah. Lagos. Yeah. But but the point yeah. someone yeah. could make. If they are widespread, you will not see such results. Okay, but the point, the point I'm that some are making is that. Um, it will be a landslide, a total landslide. Um, uh, Bola Metinubu will be disgraced in his own state by Peter B. if not for the thuggery. These guys going around and chasing voters away, tearing the ballot papers. Um, that if everyone was allowed to vote, you'd see a landslide. It don't be neck and neck. You actually will see a landslide. It will be neck and neck. It okay, let me take it to another one. That's what you're saying. That, that the reason is neck and neck is because of the activities of the Other tribe, the Arusas, the Arusas, are not allowed to vote. John Bass are not allowed to vote. No, no, but we're talking about Lagos. We're talking about Lagos. Okay, let, let, let's, let's, let's bring in a, 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 another, another case. I'll come back to you, sir. I'll come what back to you, sir. What is it? No, Dr. Oshino, we're not talking about... We, we, we're we focusing on Lagos. We'll look at all those places soon. We have to yeah. look at the general but, election. We but, have to look at the, the, we'll, the, we'll, the we'll, general we'll, we'll. topography. So are you saying because it's happening in Anambra, it is right for it to happen in Lagos as well? Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying that. I'm telling you that there is no widespread voter suppression in Lagos. You are seeing OB pulling over for almost 500,000 votes. You are seeing as large as people pulling over 100,000 votes. That is not widespread. Okay. Because some of them are fighting point, in the uh, beer parlor, okay. they have yes. two beers of drink after voting, and they started fighting, and you say that is widespread. That's okay. not widespread. Okay, F fantastic. I, I want to bring at this point um, uh, another guest who is on the line. He's in Lagos. Ade Misaka is a public affairs uh, commentator, a political analyst. Um, Ade Misaka, good morning to you. Thank you for your time. Okay, I'm told the guest is not uh, on standby, so I'll come back to Honorable Dr. Shinawa Ibrahim. Um, Honorable, so, so yes, this, this talk of um, uh, the, the results being, um, you know, neck and neck, what do you think the aim of these uh, thugs? You know, we, we have several pictures, you know, people have sent us, you know, their own reports. What do you think the aim of these thugs is? Is it to make sure that those uh, areas that have a large population of um, voters who may be sympathetic to a particular candidate will not be allowed to vote, thereby reducing the votes that those candidates or that candidate could have gotten. Is that, is that the aim of this, this thuggery? 
I'm not going to speak for any talk. I'm an academician. I'm a professional. I'm not a talk. But I can tell you that there's particular party. The the um the the governing party in Lagos believes that they have suppressed their votes. Those places that you are mentioning, where they ought to have gotten huge votes for their party has been suppressed. Because they are the governing party and they don't so well for people of Labour State. That this song that's the, another allegation coming from another section that the particular party that just started campaign less than six months are suppressing voters of the government of the government party. Okay, where so we cannot say we cannot say that who are that's why I asked you initially, who are the sponsors of this talk? Do you know any party who are sponsoring? You have to do what the what you guys call uh, you know investigative journals to know where they are coming from. To know who sent them to, you know, the, the government party in Lagos State has claimed that there is voter suppression because where their candidate needs to get most bulk of the vote, actually I needs to get most bulk of the vote, are being suppressed by all these guys. So how can you? I I extend my discussion to Anambra, you ignore it. In Anambra, in Anubu, the Yorubas are not allowed to vote. They are not. The Ebubwa Gus, the, the, the ESM, they are on the neck of these guys. They can't come out to vote. Whereas, Lagos, as tolerant as we are, Obi is pulling almost 500,000 votes. And you are saying there's a voter suppression. Where is that coming from? Where is the suppression coming from? I wonder what, what, what you know, journalism is, is all about. Where is that coming from? If Ashwadu can be so you know, accommodating can be so friendly to allow free and fair. So no no so fair. Okay. And some people still have the audacity to support some, you know, some images of Lagos State not to vote. And you are complaining that. That's why I ask you, mention the people who are suppressing you. Who okay. are the people suppressing you? Okay, uh, we have Ade Misaka on the line. Ade Misaka, can you hear me please? Good morning. Okay. Um uh, we we're talking about, and thank you very much, Ritz, and we're talking about voter suppression, you know, in, 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 in Nigeria, particularly in Lagos State and electoral violence uh, that took place. What are, what are your thoughts on that, please? Well, um, I'll be bold enough to say something that, that is in Lagos, exists in Lagos, it is true. It's okay, there, Mr. Kat, we will we, we, we'll try to patch you on properly. So please um, uh, get, get uh, uh, just stay by your phone. Try to patch it properly so we can hear you better. Just stay with us. Uh, Mr. Shino, um, I'm back to you. You're yes. talking about the Southeast, um, but we're talking about electoral violence uh, overall. Um, so why do you think that despite, you know, this um, Electoral Act 2022 that has been passed and people had prospects for it, you know, there were a lot of prospects for, for it and expectations that we're still seeing um, violence in elections despite the passage of Electoral Act 2022. You know, I said earlier that INEC needs to be blamed and we have to do what we call what we call post audit of this election. INEC got billions of naira in advance to prepare for this election. But, you know, a lot of complaints from civil society, from international organizations who, who see that there is a huge failure on the part, you know, of INEC. You know, I believe that they are, they are they, they overpromised Nigerians. They could not do what they're supposed to do in terms of the result delivery 48 hours after. Look at what happened in Kenya. The result was declared 24, less than 24 hours after the election. You know, and they used the same river. So, what is going on? Most of the polling booth agents, most of the returning officers could not, could not um, 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 post their results online. So a lot of issues across the country. So we need to we need to question Professor Mahmoud. The same thing in 2019, okay. the election was postponed. All right, Doctor Shinowo, uh, uh, this this issue of questioning Professor Mahmoud is a very important one um, because the previous guest we talked about the challenges with Beavers, you know, and all that, and he also pointed at INEC. Um, we will crave your indulgence to go for a short break uh, to bring our news at nine, and we'll come back to you after that if you don't mind so that we can just conclude because i know you have a lot to say 
All right, thank you very much. All right, it's still the breakfast uh, ballot 2023 special uh, right here on the Plus TV Africa. Um, we'll be right back. Let's just take a news brief and dial o'clock and, of course, get the latest of what's been happening as far as elections are concerned. And when we come back, we'll continue our conversation on the 2023 elections and violence uh, that um, came with it. Please stay with us. <laughs>